We've covered number stations a few times on the channel recently and their mysterious nature fascinates me as I'm sure it does you. The term number station has been used as an umbrella term for anything clandestine in recent years but it only really applies to stations that read specific groups of numbers. Three popular mysterious signals that you can guarantee to hear daily which are just as strange as the number stations they serve are channel markers and in this instalment we'll be looking at three of the many Russian channel markers you really don't have to go far to hear. The squeaky wheel is a Russian commandment station believed to be operating within the southern military district with transmissions coming from Rostov-on-Don. The majority of its time is spent transmitting a squeaky wheel sound that acts as a signal marker. The messages transmitted when the squeaking sound stops fall into two categories, routine propagation checks and monolith messages. Routine propagation checks that are usually addressed to 10 units at a time are reception reports and monolith messages are addressed either to collective units or sometimes individual units. The squeaky wheel is believed to be linked to the pip and the buzzer which we'll cover in a minute. Its presumed location was thought to be on the outskirts of St. Petersburg, but listeners have suggested that the transmitter is actually located in Rostov-on-Don. The link to the pip was established when shortwave listeners observed transmissions of the squeaky wheel, with the pip station clearly heard in the background. This is the PIP. Its nickname was given by shortwave listeners and it's a shortwave radio station that broadcasts on the frequency 5448 kHz during the day and 3756 kHz during the night. It broadcasts short repeated beeps at a rate of around 50 per minute, 24 hours a day. It's believed to be a Russian military commandment network serving the southern military district and while no messages are being sent, the channels occupied by this continuous beeping signal. The beeping is occasionally interrupted by voice messages in Russian and the station has been active since around 1985 when its distinctive beeping sound was first recorded by listeners. In Russia it's known as Kaplia or the drop and although its official name or call sign isn't known, some of the voice transmissions begin with the code JVB1 which is generally considered to be the name of the station. However this code may not be a call sign but instead serves some other purpose. The transmissions like the squeaky wheel are believed to be emanating from this location north of Rostov-on-Don. The messages sent fall into the same categories as the squeaky wheel routine propagation checks or monolith messages. It's been noted that when the pip sends a monolith message, the wheel and the buzzer also send their messages around the same time, fueling speculation that the three stations are linked. And finally, the most popular channel marker, the buzzer. The buzzer is widely and actually wrongly known as UVB76, and it was first heard in the late 1970s and has become a bit of a cult entity due to its almost constant buzzing on 4625 kHz. Believed to be another Russian military station utilised by their western military district, it was long thought that the buzzing sound was an unexplained mystery, but like the squeaky wheel and the pip, it's obviously used as a channel marker. During the years of activity, its call sign and even the pitch of the buzzing has changed many times. The 
call sign wasn't actually UVB76 but rather UZB76 and this has changed frequently in the years since. Its purpose was rumoured to be a dead hand switch to signal a nuclear war but this has never been the case, only a myth. It's widely believed in the radio monitoring community that at least two transmitter sites exist. One is confirmed to be here, the source of the radio relay and phone lines directly from Moscow via St. Petersburg's command hub. The other site is claimed to be located at Naro Forminsk in the Moscow district where the 69th communication centre is located. The first known location of UVB-76 was in Povarovo in the Moscow district, but this has been derelict since 2010, and urban explorers claim to have found evidence of a transmitter on 4625 in logbooks here. There have been many instances of mechanical failure in the buzzer's transmissions, which have led to outages or distortion in the signal, as well as possible accidental transmissions of phone calls, voice messages, indistinct chatter, and even music. This quashed the rumours that the site was unmanned or even abandoned completely. The buzzing stops from time to time to transmit messages and commands which can be heard often, but the more popular reason people tend to listen to the signal nowadays is the almost daily attempts to jam the signal with music and interference. So that's three of the many mysterious channel markers that can be easily heard on the shortwave bands 24-7, 365 days a year. Thank <laughs> you.